let's say that we're given f of t equals 0.8 over 1 plus e to the negative 0.2t. And this is going to be in regards to a learning theory project. So this is after however many t learning trials. So what I need to find is I need to find the proportion. Now remember proportion is because it's divided of the correct responses prior to the learning trials taking place. Well if I haven't had any trials take place yet, what is t? Well, t is 0 if nothing has happened. So I'm just going to plug in 0 0.8 divided by 1 plus e to the minus 0 0.2 times 0. And I'm going to get 0 0.8 over 1 plus anything to the 0 power is 1. So I'm going to get 0 0.8 divided by 2, which is going to be 0 0.4. It really is that easy. So now what happens if instead of before anything takes place, 10 learning trials have taken place? Well again, if t is the number of learning trials, I have 10 of them, so I'm going to have now that t equals 10. So I'm going to plug in 10 everywhere there's a t. So I'm going to get 1 plus e to the minus 0.2, that doesn't look very pretty, minus 0.2t, and I just said that t is 10. And so when I simplify this, I get 0 0.8 over 1 plus e to the what? Well, that's going to be, if I'm going to multiply by 10, it's going to be the negative 2. Now, you're actually going to have to do this on your handy-dandy little calculator. And when I do that on my calculator, I'm actually going to get about 0 0.7. Now, I used 0 0.7 because I only had 0.4 previously. So that means after 10 responses, or 10 trials, the proportion is 0.7. Now, this last question about the limiting size. In order to do that, you have to go back to whatever is the growth model standard formula. And if you don't recall that, it is f of t equals c over 1 plus a e to the minus b t. And remember, when you're doing this, c is what represents the limiting size. So c in our example is 0 0.8, so that is what limits the size.